Hello there everyone and welcome to Harnessy Rail Journeys, the revamped programme on my main YouTube channel after seven years. Now for clarity first, the reason why I'm not wearing a face covering is I am legally exempt because of my hidden disabilities. No, I don't like talking about my private life, but, but for this I had to make an exception and give you some clarity. Anyway, on to today's programme. We are currently here in Crewe, which is the main junction for the Midlands. Either the line behind me going to Hollyhead, and also the junction towards Manchester, which is on my left side, on your right side of the screen. And then the, also the junction for the East Midlands, and for the West Midlands, and also to South Wales. So what are we doing here today then? Well, we are here today to see Jeremy Hoskins rebuilt Royal Scott. 46100 Royal Scott as it's doing a circular run on the Crewe, Chester, Wrexham, Shrewsbury, Telford and Stafford circuit. So we're going to be seeing Royal Scott here today at Crewe and then we'll be heading off to a line side location as we'll find out later in this programme. That's the Avanti Voyager that's just started up behind me and the Class 390 Pendolino which is just off our camera just pulling in. While I wait for Royal Scott, here's a look at view of the engine's history and also when I got the engine coming off the Crew Heritage Site Depot, which is at the south end of the station, a little bit earlier. 46100 Royal Scott was the class leader of the Royal Scott class, designed by the chief mechanical engineer Sir Henry Fowler. She was outshot from Derby Works in October of 1927. In 1933, the LMS was invited to send a locomotive to the United States to take part in the Century of Progress International Exposition in Chicago, and this is where the identity change was made permanent with another class member, 6152, the King Dragoons Guardsman. Upon, after the tour was finished, and upon their return from America, the identity was kept permanent, and is also being commemorated by this plaque of the tour in Chicago as seen here on the nameplate. In June 1950, Royal Scott was rebuilt to crew and was fitted with a 2A taper boiler designed by Sir Henry Fowler's successor, Sir William Stanier. Also during the rebuild was also the fitting of a double chimney. A Camden and a Nottingham-based engine for much of her working life for the LMS and British Railways combined, until she was withdrawn from service in October of 1962, after working life of 35 years. Upon her withdrawal from service in 1962, she was saved for preservation by the late Sir Billy Butlin, who bought a number of locomotives to be put on display at some of his holiday camps. 46100 was sent to crew to be cosmetically restored and painted into LMS Express Passenger Crimson Lake livery, a livery that the Reapwell's Royal Scots were never carried, except for one member, number 6170, British Legion. 46100 was sent to Skegness to be put on the permanent plinth for Sir Billy Butlin's holiday camp, and she stayed there until 1971. In the same year, in 1971, she was transferred from Skegness at the holiday camp to Bressingham Steam Museum, and she returned to Steam in 1972, offering footplate rides to visitors on the demonstration line of the museum, and she did that for the best part of six years until she was taken out of service in 1978 to be as a static exhibit once again. In May 1989, Bressingham Steam Museum eventually bought the locomotive from Sir Billy Butlins, and the engine remained as a static exhibit until 2009, until they sold the locomotive to Sir Jeremy Hoskin in 2009. 46100 briefly returned to steam in 2009, steaming at both at the West Somerset and Flangotland Railways, until discovered during maintenance work, numerous problems were discovered, and it was eventually decided to get the engine a complete full overhaul, but this time to mainline running condition, including the fitting of air brakes and all the major safety equipment, such as the train protection warning system and the on-train monitor recording devices. Eventually, 46100 Royal Scott returned to steam in 2015 and was outshopped in BR Express Passenger Lined Green Livery, and also on record, 
46100 became the last mainline steam locomotive to be outshopped from Crew Heritage Centre Museum before LNWR Heritage moved over to their new site at Crew HS Depot at the south of Crew Station. Now, enough of Raw Scott's history, let's get back to what we really want to see Raw Scott in action. Services Mark Free Rake at the Intercity Swallow livery, in that livery which had not been seen behind mainline steam since the 1990s.
Anti Service to Stafford. We're now here at uh, Coldsall in Staffordshire as I just left those two Class 170 Turbo Stars, 504 and 505. Now I'm going to head off to my line side location in a moment, it's a good 20 minute walk from here, so I'll meet you by the click of these fingers. And just like that, we're here at our line side spot right on the 1 in 100 gradient, which is just around the corner from here at Albrighton. Despite it was about 48 minutes walk to get here, but I do need the exercise, as I do need a lot of it. Even though I did well, did well to retain the weight where I am during lockdowns. So, anyway, enough about that. Hey, check out this view here. Isn't that beautiful? Right on the 1 in 100 gradient, which Albrighton Station is round the corner from here and the summit is on the other side before it descends towards Co console my apologies anyway we're just waiting here now for 46100 Royal Scott with the Intercity Swallow Rake now that is a rarity I see that with the Mark Free stock and all <laughs> anyway we're just gonna wait for it to turn up now and then we'll walk it to our Brighton station journey from Albrighton back to Wolverhampton, but we do manage to catch 
these 221 Voyagers back up to Crewe, where we would be chasing 46100 Raw Scott all the way back to Crewe, and we just David overtake it as you'll see towards the end of this journey section. Enjoy. circular round trip, we see 46100 pulling into crew station on platform 12, and it had a couple of minutes here before the diesel would drag the whole train back into the depot, which gave me a good opportunity to see the engine at close quarters, as we'll see in these next few clips.
Peter from Harnity Rail Journeys for this programme. I hope you've all enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. It's been great first day back on the Harnity Rail Journeys series. I've had a heavy general overhaul after major redevelopments and after many years out. Thank you all so much for watching on this journey while chasing Jeremy Hoskins 46100 Raw Scott. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to Arnity Railways and turn on the notifications so you'll be notified within seconds of the next content going live. Thank you all so much for watching, take care and stay safe. So until next time, goodbye.